this video, I'm gonna be explaining to you the Chase Unlimited Money Glitch. We come from poverty, man, we ain't have a thing. We come from poverty, man, we ain't have a thing. So first and foremost, I have a disclaimer. This is check fraud. You are going to jail, big fella. Not the little one, you going to the big one. They ain't gonna hold you for a couple days, you going to the penitentiary. This is a white collar felony, depending on how much money you hit them for. So, let's just get that out the way. The new viral TikTok trend that some users are calling a money glitch or free money hack, it's actually having some serious consequences. Here's what it is. It involves people depositing fraudulent checks into their Chase Bank accounts and withdrawing the money before it's flagged. Well, that's actually fraud. For so when you see, because I know everybody have seen the videos online, but the people, boom, 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 you hit the ATM, uh, 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 you socking it to your pocket. I'm talking about 500, 600, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. One, one guy hit him for 30 of them things. You know what I'm saying? What you do is you have an account and you have checks that's tied to your account or somebody else that has Chase. What they were doing is writing an amount on the check. So let's say 2,000. You write $2,000 on the account and you deposit it into your account at the bank. The underwriters don't get a chance to review the check yet. So then what they do is allow, depending on the status of your account, up 50 to 60 percent is instantly deposited into your available balance. So then you just turn right around and do another transaction and pull the money out. So then you deposit two thousand. It instantly goes to, let's say, $1,000 in your available balance. You make a withdrawal, $1,000, sock it to your pocket, going about your business. And you can do this a couple, like, let's say, if you do it on a Friday, you can do it a couple times. You can do it Friday, then Saturday. But by the time the underwriters catch up to you, big fella, if it's under your account or anybody else's, they're going to flag the account. That's first. They're going to call you, like, hey, man, you said the check was, we try to cash the check. What happened? You did. You try to. <laughs> there ain't no money. Wherever the check came from, right? You know, whether it's from your account, somebody else's account. When they go to cash it, they're not going to be able to. So that immediately flags your account. As soon as they flag your account, you're in trouble. Because then, as soon as they alert the fraud system, they report it. Because at the end of the day, the bank ain't going to be out of no money. That ain't what the bank set up to do. What they didn't realize is that they were going to have to pay that money back when the check inevitably bounced. And so it wasn't a money glitch. This is actually check fraud. What are the consequences for someone who does something like this? Well, they're going to be, uh, if they don't find themselves in legal trouble and find themselves, you know, facing a, a case uh, with Chase in, in the court of law, they're going to be on the hook for a lot of money. When they say the little FDIC insured, that little thing to pop up, they ain't about to lose no money. So they're going to claim it on the fraud. They're going to get their money right, right back. So then they're going to put the fraud on you and you're going to get on what's called the checks system. You are never, if this was your account. You are never going to be able to open up another bank account in your life. It's over with. You're going to be on a check system. And sometimes they have a mandatory like probation period where you can't have a bank account for five years, 10 years, so on and so forth. And then sometimes it's just the amount plus all the accrued taxes, fees and so on and so forth. This is a short term play. It's a short term play. Like it was cute. On, on the internet with all of the little stuff and the videos and all of the this is a short a, like really really short term play it's way more of a headache than what it is for your temporary money you got to find a different and a better hustle because this one right here on a scale of one to ten it's a zero because you ain't going you you gonna spend the money so fast that when you get to jail you ain't gonna have enough money to post your bill and what you might ask is, how do I know? You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't never did the chase uh, check joint. You know what I'm saying? The instant. So how do I know? Because KeyBank back in the day was doing it. I don't know if they still do it. But back in the day, KeyBank would let you, they would give you a deposit envelope. And you tell the ATM how much money you're depositing. And then it puts half of that amount directly into your checking system. So it was, the statute of limitations has been long enough. So... 
I need to pay my rent one time, right? You know what I'm saying? Quick story. I need to pay my rent one time. I ain't have it. You know what I'm saying? And like the, the payday loans and all the, you know what I'm saying? All, all of that was exhausting. So I was like, man, look. And I remember one time I said I had a hundred. I put it, the hundred in the envelope. And then they said, Hunter, how did they count the money if it's in an envelope? That don't make sense. So this time I needed like 800. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? You put 16 in the envelope, boop, 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 boop. You know what I'm saying? It had an $800 available balance. I pulled that money out, stuck it to my pocket. And it took them probably like a week to fully like catch up. And then the, the personal banker called me like, um, sir, did you know there was a problem with your, I was like, yeah, man, it was an accident. I accidentally put the wrong number. He's like, cool. You know what I'm saying? Bring me that. Bring me that other piece. You know what I'm saying? Bring that back, brother. And I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my way. Never brought it back. Now, the problem, though, is I paid my rent that month, right? Doing this made it to where I couldn't have a new bank account for like a million years. When I finally, it took like five years. And when I finally got a new bank account, I was able to get a bank account. But they was like, you could only use savings for six months. So I only had a savings account for six months. I had to do it like all the little prepaid cards. I had Bluebird, everything. I'm moving it right now, brother. Yep, yep, I'm moving it right now. You on? Yeah. So what happened was I had to go through that probationary period. And then still, this is a bank with one branch. I'm talking about it didn't have four, it didn't have 10. It had one branch. They still only have one branch. So then what happens is I have to go through the process to get an account. And it took years before I got off of the check system and I still never fully got off. I just put it on hold. That's a whole different video. I'll tell you about it later. But you don't want to go through this. I'm telling y'all because it's a short term play. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> so strong story short, you guys, this ain't no life of fraud crime that you want to involve yourself with. It was entertaining to see, but what you don't want to do is take short-term risk in exchange for your long-term potential. You have to build your credit. You got to build your trust with the bank. You got to do all of these things to maintain a certain baseline when it comes to your finances. So what you don't want to do is dig no hole to where it's harder for the future you to get out of the way and become successful because of the mistakes that the past or the current you might be making. Now, I say that before I go, if you at all need a way to make a few extra dollars, click that link down there in the description. It might be for you, it might not be. Either way, it's down there for you. And with that being said, what I want y'all to do is have a great rest of your day, week, and I'll see man, I'll see y'all next week. I ain't gonna say month and year, but I'll see y'all next week. Watch that video up there. We out. We come from poverty, man, we ain't have a thing. We come from poverty, man, we ain't have a thing.